Hello friends, this is Roy Sherrill from EagleVR.com. I'm here in my Mad Lab. You can see I've got my VR, I mean, equipment all decked out here. The Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, game consoles. I mean, this is my... VR workshop. I've got my bubble cam 360 camera and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm here today to unbox the Magic C M1 VR headset. This is a standalone VR system from uh, Magic C that I'm importing from uh, Shenzhen, China. Um, I've got a couple of other VR headsets. I um, mean, the this one here is the um, uh, uh, Softronic uh, VR02 I mean that I uh, have been importing for the last three months uh, that one is a version um, it runs on a Nibiru operating system version uh, 4.4 the Magic C runs on a Nibiru version 5.1 you know, you can see I've got a couple of other, uh, the, the VR O2s here. I've actually got seven of them totally. So, I mean, for my doing the demos, I'm going to do an unboxing here. This is an affordable standalone system. Basically, what that means is it's a hybrid uh, uh, head mount display. It's not just a Google Cardboard or video player. It's actually a head mount display. I mean, like the, the VR O2 that I've got here. I mean, there's a port down here on the bottom that, I mean, for USB, HDMI, uh, micro SD, and headphone jack so that you can plug this into, uh, I mean, the, the game consoles and PC and, I mean, anything that has an HDMI out and use this as a true head mount display. I refer to it as a hybrid because it's a uh, multi... <laughs> Uh, platform system. It works on game consoles. It works on PC, Mac, I mean Xbox, and I mean the the VR O2 here sells for uh, three hundred dollars currently. I mean I've been using this. I mean for three months. I mean the the ones I've got here on my head are my personal ones. These are, I mean from uh, uh, I mean a collection that, that I bought um, in last last month for unboxing and stuff. Now let's see. Um, I'm doing a comparison between the the two different systems. I'm going to turn on the scale here, center this out so that you can see how much this weighs. This is 212, uh, or it's, tw it's tw 21 ounces, or 21.2 ounces. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. I mean, it's part of uh, thenewsbubble.com, um, facebook.com slash thenewsbubble and thenewsbubble.com. I mean, I am going to be posting this onto my YouTube channel. If you look for Mirthen Starhawk, M-Y-R-D-D-I-N-S-T-A-R-H-A-W-K, you'll find a bunch of the videos that I've used, I mean, that, that I've made I mean, using my bubble cam, which is a 360 spherical video camera. I'm not recording this in 360 because, I mean, my, my bedroom's a bit of a mess. I mean, the... These are affordable hybrid VR systems. I mean, unlike just a Google Cardboard, I mean, the, the, the VR O2 that I've had here, I've been using it since February, and they do not overheat. They, the, I mean, the, the Gear VR and the, I mean, I've got the DK, I mean, the Innovators Edition and the regular edition, the Gear VR, generally, I mean, like most cell phones, tends to overheat after about 20 minutes. And these do not overheat. Now, I haven't been able to test this yet. I just got this in on Friday, so I've only had it for four days. I haven't unboxed it yet. I want to wait until today to do the, un the unboxing. I mean, when people are going to be, be home to, I mean, come and watch the videos and, I mean, I mean see this. And now, I'm going to be clipping the camera onto a box over here so that you can, I mean, you can, you can see what I'm doing. I mean, I've got my other uh, cell phones here, which is the, the Note 4 and the S6, which I use for the 
for the uh, Gear VR systems that I mean that are up there. And I mean later on I'll actually break those out and do a side by side comparison. If the screen on this is anything like the the VR02. Everyone I've shown it to says the optics are so much better because the pixel density is so much higher. It's 441 pixels per inch. I mean, it's 1920 by uh, 1080 on a 5.5 inch screen. And unlike the unlike I mean the, the cell phones for the Gear VR, you don't get the grainy effect because it's not an OLED screen. The OLED screens are being used because they're a faster refresh rate and they're they use less power the problem is is that there's big gaps between all the pixels i mean so that it's a lot i mean higher density and you can see i've got the the dk2 there that i once tried to sell because i mean the 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 it just sucks because the the I mean the I mean the the screen is so grainy that trying to read text on it is unbearable, and I mean trying to I mean have an operate I mean having a system that's so expensive to I mean to run it's just ridiculous. I mean the 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 um, DK2 or the VRO2s I mean that I've done. I mean, will run on any PC. I have a PC on a stick. It's just this this little. Um, uh, Intel Compu stick that that I bought that I was I mean plugged it in through the HDMI port and uh, was doing it um, and I mean I I can run PC on this now the the Vero two I mean the HDMI in I mean is um, there's five zoom levels there's forty percent fifty percent. 80%, 100%, and then, I mean, the um, 40, 50, 60, 80, and 100. And the, the different zoom levels will depend determine whether at 40 and 50%, you're seeing the full 1920 by 1080 squashed down to 960 by 640. So it's only using about the middle 60% of the screen, but the pixel density is so high that it still looks like, it still looks like HD because it's still higher definition than the than the other systems. With the VRO2, I mean, it's 960 by 1080 per eye. I mean, this, sh I believe, is, is going to be the, the same perspective. These are, I mean, actually made, I mean, they're, they're both from, from China, but they're, I mean, they're, they're made by different companies, but, I mean, they've got the, the same uh, resolution screen. So, I mean, it's, I mean, very high resolution. I mean, if you set the, the, the the zoom factor at I mean eighty or hundred percent you're seeing the full height you're seeing the full ten eighty height but I mean you're only seeing I mean half of the screen you're seeing nine sixty of it and you can pan back and forth across the desktop to get I mean your motion capture and if your app supports I mean edge scrolling you can do I mean full I mean, 360, I mean, motion capture, if you're doing 360 video or, I mean, photo viewers and stuff like that, I mean, you can, I mean, look around. Now, what's really nice about these systems is it doesn't require a cell phone. You're not paying $700 for a cell phone, $100 for a headset, and then having the thing crap out after 20 minutes because it overheats. I mean, um, th this sells for $300. This one is I mean going to be somewhere in the two hundred and fifty to or two hundred and twenty to three hundred dollar range, and I mean it's affordable, it's transportable. You can plug it into any system. I mean, what I like about this, I mean, th this one here is it's such a durable case. Um, I mean the 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 headset is so durable. I mean that I mean. It puts up to a lot of stuff. It's not the the cheap plastic stuff, and you don't have to worry about your cell phone, I mean, falling out. So this is a this is a really nice system. I've been so impressed with it that I have seven of them. I mean, now I'm gonna, I mean, sit you down for a minute. I'm gonna flip the phone around so I can still see the screen, but I'm gonna, I mean, um, or flip the camera around, and then I'm gonna set you up over here so that you can see what's going on here and then I'm gonna clip this down on the on the box to hold this while I, <coughs> while 
while I'm doing this so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, can, can you see this okay? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing this headset. Preserve the appearance of this. Now, unlike the VR02, I mean, a lot of the, the contents of this box is going to be, I mean, the, 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 the same. You'll have your USB HDMI cables, I mean, head straps, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, let's see, peel the plastic off the front of this. Let's save this here. Okay, now you've got your headset from the box. Now inside you've got some other boxes. This is probably going to have the, the strap. So you've got your padded head strap. You've got your HDMI and uh, HDMI cable. Now if you look on here, It's actually got a bend on the the mic or the mini HDMI uh, connector, so that when you plug this into the headset up here on the top, I mean th this will just I mean plug in right here, and it, it'll I mean follow along with the head strap that's going across the top of the head. So that is really nice. Okay. Then you've got your Nibiru controller here. Now, as you can see, that this is uh, the same controller as the VRO2. I mean, th I mean, these are the the ones that come from the operating system, except for the gyroscope. These are, I mean, pretty much identical to, I mean, what Google's planning on creating for the Daydream controller. I mean, the Daydream controller is basically, I mean, a, a touchpad up here with with a button, a couple of buttons for your 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 back and your um, menu button here. Over here, you've got your charge port. You've got your your I mean broadcast I mean setup for for pairing the phone. You've got your button here for that. And then on this side, you've got your volume up and down and your your power on and off. And I mean th this is I mean I identical to the to that. Now in here, you've got another box. This should have the power. I mean, okay, yeah, you've got your USB cable here, you've got a couple of um, connectors here for, I mean, uh, I mean your country connector, and then you've got your, your power brick here. Now let's look at the amperage on this power brick so that we can tell what the output is. Okay, this is ACDC adapter input. 100 volts to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Output 5 volts, 2 amps, or 2,000 milliamps. Okay, so this is, I mean, pretty close to the to a similar charger. The charger on the VR02 is a, uh, th this one's 2.5 amps. So th this is, provides a little bit more power. But, I mean, what's nice about these is that, I mean, the... Well, at least with the VR02, I haven't tested with the, the Magic C yet. I mean, it's, the battery will last about I mean, four to five hours, depending on usage, and it doesn't overheat. But as soon as you apply power, the 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 battery will will start. I mean, I mean, the the system will boot. I mean, straight up again. There's no, I mean, recharge time. And I mean, anytime that you've got power onto it, the default status is being on so that you're um i mean when you plug it in you've got to actually turn the power off i mean to charge it i mean so that the the screen's not on now i mean you can see that this is just the 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 plastic liner on the box now it's, it's a nice 
nice box. Okay, put those in here. Okay. Now let's look at the optics here. Now you've got your plastic tabs to cover the lenses. Pull those off. Okay. You've got your optics here. I mean that are I don't know if these are no these I don't know if these are adjustable or not. They look like they might be, but I, I've got to check and see. You've got your head straps mounting on these two sides, and then up here on top. Now on top here, you've got your D-pad here, which is just like the, the the controller pad, and then you've got your 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 back button. Then you've got your your power button, uh, your volume up and down, and your menu button. The end button is the Nibiru menu button. Um, you've got your, I mean, headphone jack here. You've got your HDMI and USB port here. So these actually work as a as a VR headset. I mean, once you plug it into a game console. Now down here on the bottom, you've got your uh, micro SD card slot so that you can expand the memory disk this particular headset comes I believe with 16 gigabytes internal memory I mean I know that this will do 64 gigs uh, I mean for a micro SD card not sure about 128 um, you've got your I mean sensor here so that I mean I mean this this sensor basically, I mean, tells when you have it up to your face so that it turns off and on automatically, just like on the Gear VR. Now, on the paddings here, you've got this, these paddings that are held on here with Velcro. So, I mean, so that these are, I mean, interchangeable. And you can adjust, let's see. Okay, yeah, you've got this, this rubber gasket here, I mean, that, that has plenty of flex. So that you can, I mean, adjust, I mean, this by, I mean, how tight you adjust the, the straps. This does not have the interpupillary adjustment so that you can't adjust the spacing in here. Um, I see grips here. Okay. So the optics are removable. Okay. And then, you, I mean, that, that goes straight down to the screen. I mean... So that the optics are adjustable. Um, what that means is that if you have prescription glasses where you need particular prescriptions, you can take these out. You can take them to lens crafters, and you can have them. I mean, custom make the lenses. Now, I mean, the the width here. Is, I mean, I I've got a very large head, and and so this does allow you to wear your glasses with the with the headset um, now I'm gonna have to charge this before I can do anything with the the internal operating system but I mean this is the a, a basic introduction to the 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 magic C I mean m1 I mean I've seen them on Amazon for two hundred and twenty dollars but that one is the older version that has the uh, Android uh, variant uh, 4.4 which is the same as the VR02 uh, this one has the the newer uh, Nibiru's version of Android 5.1 so this has a has a more uh, standard operating system I mean with the the VR02 I mean you've got your default menu that will come up if you if you look at go on eagle VR Dot com. Uh, you can find the specs for the VR02 and I mean all of the information plus some videos and stuff that I've already recorded for the, the VR02 headset. And I mean you can uh, I mean I'll add an, another page on there for, for this one here. Uh, thanks a lot. I mean this is Roy from uh, thenewsbubble.com and eagle-vr.com. Thanks a lot. I'll see you around on the next videos.